Grimes from his own nine yard line. Looks for a lane. Gets some blockers, tries to get to the outside and makes it out to the 25 yard line. Two score, two score game now for the Blue Devils. They trail by 13. Grimes will go in motion to the left. Again, the Indians without Dante Cephas. He was tossed from this game along with James Colosito of Mount Lebanon. The tank for a yard. Tank Smith on the carry. Tackled by number 23, John Naylor. Tank for another two. And it'll be third down and seven. Mouth is throwing downfield. Like it was towards Major. It fell in between Major and Akeem Snell. It'll be a fourth down for the Indians. So to bring on the punt team, which is always a treat. Clock stops, 4.15 to go here in the third quarter. High snap, nice kick, Indians get it away. Fair catch, called for and made by Kane at the 42 yard line. So the Indians to get a nice kick off. 4.09 to go here in the third quarter. Penn Hills 34, Mount Lebanon 21. You're watching Indians Football Network. They will begin on their 42 yard line. And the Indians will be traveling down to Station Square next Friday night to take on the Central Catholic Vikings. The Blue Devils will be at home hosting the Blackhawks from Bethel Park, a game which I believe will decide the conference winner. Mount Lebanon and Bethel Park. Kane on the end around. It'll be close to a first down. They're going to mark him at the 50 yard line. Picks up eight. Give the Blue Devils a second down and two. Naylor has the first down and more. Tim Smith submarines him at the 41-yard line after a pickup of nine. Naylor tries to get to the outside and does. Loses the football, they're gonna just roll him down. Naylor, on the carry. Naylor slow in getting up, picks up Run six. Daryl Mason. Mason laid the stick on him.
Not sure why the clock stopped. Must be for an injury timeout. Get Naylor off the field. Second and four. Lasota. For a tough yard. Mason with another tackle for the Indians. Low snap. Going on the end of round, Mount Lebanon has the first down. And the officials just threw a flag because the Mount Lebanon coaches told them to. Not sure if they're going to call horse collar because it wasn't a horse collar. Lucas DeCaro on the carry. It was DeCaro. Flag on the play. Picked up seven yards in a first down. Let's check the penalty flag. They're going to call a horse caller. He had him by the jersey. Personal foul, Ben Hills. Now, you grab the jersey. Horse caller, you have to grab the shoulder pad. Naylor back in, has a lane right side. Tank Smith comes up and levels him after a yard. And another penalty flag comes in. So first and goal, Blue Devils at the seven yard line. They're going to be second down and three at the seven yard line. Naylor inside the father, going to mark him at the six yard line. And around, coming this way. And nothing doing there for Lucas DeCaro, maybe a yard or two. We'll give him two down to the four. And that brings up. Second down. Uh, uh, Seriously, can't keep up with these guys. Naylor hitting the backfield, will be dropped down at the six yard line. Daryl Porter, the penalty flag at the four yard line. That'll be a holding call against the Blue Devils. So that'll be second and goal from the 16-yard line.
Stalker has some room, throwing one towards the end zone. Incomplete. Now third and goal for the Blue Devils from the 16-yard line. Stalker looking, throws into the end zone, and a pass off the head of Rick Martin. And they're going to call pass interference. Hey, why not, huh? Pass interference. Ben Hill. So it'll be remain third and goal. Ball at the eight yard line. Stalky into the end zone, out of bounds. Kane caught it, but out of bounds he went. Timeout against Mount Mount Lebanon. Get out your 50 50 tickets. We do have a winner this evening. The winning number is zero. Three, five, eight, three, seven, eight, zero, three, five. Now Lebanon is going to try a field goal here on fourth down. Fourth and goal from the eight-yard line. Kick is up. Kick is good. Field goal is good. 47 seconds left here at third quarter. The score, Penn Hills 34, Mount Lebanon 24. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Kick bobbled by Grimes at the nine yard line. Picks it up at the three, looks for somewhere to go. And he'll be thrown down. Let's see if there's a flag comes in on that one. No.
Tim Smith in motion, left side. Mathis keeps it himself across the five, out to the six yard line. Mathis on the keeper. Tackled by number 26, Michael Palmer. Indians will not need to not run another play here in this quarter. And they won't. After three, your score, Penn Hills 34, Mount Lebanon 24. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Your score, after three quarters, Penn Hills. Try to switch over to two. Fourth quarter getting underway. Indians keep it on the ground. Tim Smith for another two. Tim Smith on the carry. Gonna bring up a third down and six for the Indians. Still a two score game. Tackled by number nine, Sam Rolfson. Mathis gets the pass away. And the Indians have as the ball comes up, squirts out from Major. Indians recover it. But it'll bring up a fourth down for the Indians. It'll be fourth and two. Short kick, high. Hits it to 30, takes an Indian bounce. Goes dead at the 35 yard line. Punts is down on the 35 yard line. Soda for a yard. There's an injured Indian on the near side. Like Tank, slow in getting up. Well, a snap, but a penalty flag comes in. And I can say the Indians, I think, are encroached. Oh, that's 
Penalty flag comes in, Mount Lebanon with the touchdown to Kane, but there's a penalty flag back at the 28 yard line. It's going to be an offensive pass interference call. So that would explain why Kane was so wide open. Lucas DeCaro just carries Indians for 10 yards. That brings up third down and nine for the Blue Devils. Clock at 9-11 to go here in the fourth quarter. Flag on the field. Sideline warning against the Indians. Stoker rolls off to the left. We'll have a first down. Rick Martin pushes him out of bounds at the 23-yard line after a pickup of 11. Stalker doing a nice job on the scramble. Soda for a yard. It was 34 14 Indians at the half. It's now 34 24. Stalker's pass right side. Too far for Kane. Kane had a step on Martin, but Stalker just overthrew him. Stalker throws towards the end zone and too far. Stalker pass incomplete. Brings up a fourth down for the Blue Devils. We'll go for it, and why not? We're down 10 here in the fourth. It's 
Thalker hit as he throws and a pass into the end zone, almost intercepted. And Mount Lebanon will turn the ball over on downs. 8.20 to go, fourth quarter. Penn Hills 34, Mount Lebanon 24. You're watching Indians Football Network. Following the turnover on downs, Indians. First down at their own 23-yard line. They need some first downs. They need some points. Mathis pitches, grinds. Winds up with about a yard. That was a huge loss, losing Cephas in that scrum. Thank moves up to Hollis is right. And Hollis gets back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and eight. Tackle by number 56. Coleman. Give him a yard. Go, go. Third and eight. Tank, move out to the slot on the right. Mathis, straight drop, looking, throws over the middle, and a pass off the hands of Smith. They'll bring up a fourth down. The clock will stop with 6.49 to go here in the fourth quarter. And the Indian offense hasn't been able to get anything going in this half. This will be their fourth punt. In fact, the Indian offense does not have a first down in this half. He's got a nice kick away. Hits it to 45. Takes a Blue Devil bounce. It goes dead at the 44-yard line. 6.49. No, the clock didn't run. 6.49 to go. Fourth quarter. Penos 34. Mount Lebanon 24. You're watching Indians Football Network. Walker gets the pass away. Behind the defense, touchdown. Mount Lebanon. Lucas DeCaro beat Kayvon Paschel. Mount Lebanon cuts a score to 34-30. Kick is up, kick is good. 6.41 to go, fourth quarter. Mount Lebanon now cuts the lead to Penn Hills 34. Mount Lebanon 31, you're watching the Indians Football Network. Short kick at the 34-yard line. Right to the punter. It's Micah Williams. Micah Williams on the return for Ben Hill. Now you're in a point where the Indians definitely need some first downs. They haven't had one yet in this half. And they need to get some points. They're up by three. They're up 20. Coming into this half, Mount Lebanon has outscored them 17-0 here in quarters three and four. Smith, across the 40, hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. 
Mark with the 42. Pick up of three. But he goes out of bounds and stops the clock. Tank cuts it up into the middle for two. Tank Smith on the carry. Tackle by number nine, Sam Rolson. Pass complete. The Indians have a first down. Julian Major with reception at the 48 yard line. Smith with the toss, right side, tries to find the lane, gets across the 50, loses a yard. Tim Smith on the carry. Tackle by number 26, Michael Palmer. Hey, Brock, run, run, pass, run, run, pass. Second down and 11 for the Indians. Clock rolling under five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Donnie Blue to Mathis' left. Be Tank Smith looks for somewhere to go. Rumbles ahead for the first down. Tank Smith inside the 35, the 30. Wrapped up, spun down at the 28 yard line after a pickup of 21. Indians with a huge first down. Pistol formation. Tank into the pile for a couple. Tank spent on the carry. Stopped by number 71, Michael Frelino. More importantly, the Indians will be able to run this one down close to three and a half minutes before they have to get the playoff. And they would be wise to do so. Mathis looking at the play clock. Tim Smith inside the 10, pulled out from behind. Nothing called to be first and goal at the seven yard line. Tim Smith on the carry. That play results in a Penn Hill. First down. First and goal, Indians at the seven. Tim Smith, left side, inside the five. Dives towards the one, where are they gonna mark him? Tim Smith on the carry. They will mark him at the one yard line.
Pickup of six. Indians could just let that play clock run down before they run another play here. Mouth has kept it himself. I'm not sure why they didn't use that play clock. It'll bring up a third and goal for the Indians. The Indians can roll this under two minutes before they have to snap. Surprised Mont Lebanon not using any timeouts here. Indians with six seconds on the play clock. Five. And the Indians use a timeout with one second to go on the play clock, and why not? 149 to go, fourth quarter. Penn Hills 34, Mount Lebanon 31. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Following the timeout, the Indians at the one on a third and goal. Donnie Blue to Mathis is right. Tank Smith deep in the pistol, and it'll be Tank. And Tank will walk into the end zone. And the clock didn't run. Indians going for two, naturally. Mathis will throw underneath. Julian Major gets the conversion. 42-31 Indians, 146 to go. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Taken at the 16-yard line. And out of bounds across the 40 at the 43-yard line is Mason Ventrone. Took a nice stick from Akeem Snell. Penalty flag back at the 38-yard line. Holding against Mount Lebanon. Holding. Mount Lebanon. So the Blue Devils have two timeouts left, 139 on the clock. And they trail by 11. Stalker in the shotgun. Low snap, pulls it off the turf. Looking to his left, flush, comes back to his right, throws the pass away to nobody. That's got to be a grounding call, and there he comes the flag. Stalker pass, incomplete. Flag on the play. So they call the intentional grounding, so the Indians get credit with the sack, the loss of down, back at the 12-yard line. Wait, how far back they mark him? They should have been to 17. Mount 
Well, they gave an extra five yards on the penalty there. Stalker launching one over the middle to pass. Picked off by the Indians. Tim Smith with the interception at the 33-yard line. Now the Indians with an opportunity to kill it. Tank cuts left, gets inside the 30-yard line, skirts the sideline, inside the 20. Oh, they're going to mark him back at the 25-yard line. Tank Smith on the carry. And they're going to say he went out of bounds, thus saving a Mount Lebanon timeout. Tank will have the first down, carries the scrum ahead close to the 20. I guess they'll come to the 21-yard line. Four yards and a first down. Inside the 20 down to the 18 goes Tank for pickup of four. Tank Smith on the carry. Clock under 25 seconds. Indians don't need to run a play unless Mount Lebanon's going to use their timeouts, and they haven't at this point. I think Mathis may just take a knee. And that he does. The clock will wind out your final score. Penn Hills 42, Mount Lebanon 31. Let's wrap it up quickly. The Indians led the whole way. It was 34-14 at halftime. Mount Lebanon came back to cut it 34-31. A late touchdown drive by the Indians sealed it at 42-31. And that's your final score. The Indians will be on the road next week at Central Catholic. Playing at Highmark Stadium at Station Square, the Blue Devils will be home to take on Bethel Park. Big win for the Indians. They move to 7-2 and two overall. It will help them with seeding in the playoffs. Once again, your final score from New Haas McGinley Stadium. The Pendles Indians defeat the Mount Lebanon Blue Devils by a score of 42-31. I'm Bill Navari for producer Helen, our cameraman Bernard. Thank you all very much for watching the Pendles Indians Football Network.